Your recent remarks related to Trump's visit to Arlington are filled with nothing but lies and deceit. A heinous, vile, and disgusting post put out by Kamala Harris. You're despicable. You have zero business running this country. And I pray to God, Americans wake the hell up and get your ass out of office. You have spit in our face for the last fucking time. You should be ashamed and embarrassed at your lack of empathy and decency as a human being. Our kids were murdered because of your administration. In over three years, we have gotten nothing but more and more lies. Just like your statement, more and more spun lies and cover-ups to make you and your administration look good. After three years until now, like Kamala Harris and President Biden didn't even say their 13 names. They called the withdrawal in Afghanistan a success. Vice President Harris, I ask you, why won't you return a call and explain to us how you call my daughter-in-law's death a success? Vice President Harris, why will you not express your condolences yourself? Why have we never heard from you? You indicated in your post that you support the military and military families. I, for one, have not seen that support. It's been three years since my son was killed in action and myself, my family, and other Gold Star families have not seen any support from you or your administration. At no time have you reached out to me to offer your condolences, to offer thank you for Kareem's sacrifice and service. Not once have you honored him by saying his name. Where were you and Joe Biden on August 26, 2024? Nowhere near Arlington Cemetery. You couldn't be bothered to be with us or even say our kids' names, just as you had done for the last three years. We've been waiting over three years to so much as get a phone call, to so much as hear our kids' names. The irony behind your post that you give a rat's ass about our military or our veterans is an outright lie. We're living proof of that. You have been nothing but disrespectful to, uh, to me and the families of the 13, yet you're claiming that you will always be respectful and show respect for our fallen. You've been absent for three years and eight months. Until this day, they did not give us a meeting they did not accept to meet with us and give us an explanation of what happened but there is one thing that you said in your statement that was true no one should be running for president if they cannot honor military members their families as well as veterans so i guess that means that you should step down kamala you've proven that you're not capable to do the job that you have let alone the job that you seek your words are hollow and empty. I agree with you on one thing, that a person like you should never and will never stand behind the seal of presidency. You are a DEI vice president. And contrary to our kids, the worst that America has to offer. Imagine for a second that your kid is killed and there's a president of the United States willing to take you under his wing and listen to you. That's what we found in President Trump. Certainly not you, and certainly not Joe Biden. We invited President Trump. We are the ones that asked for the video and the pictures to be taken at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. President Trump and his team were respectful. They listened to our stories and didn't talk much at all. We welcomed them that day and they were comfort to our family. Why would you take a day where we celebrated the death of our loved one and use it to disparage not only them, but us? President Trump has called. President Trump shows up. And President T Trump takes the time to hear our loved one's stories. Why won't you do the same? He showed compassion for us and he showed he truly cares for the families that truly do know what the ultimate sacrifice really is. You have the day you deserve.
I will pray for you that God has mercy on your soul.